In this video, I'm going to be helping you solve some of the initial questions you are going to be expecting in your exams. Now, the first question here says, um, if y raised to the power x is equal to 81 and y is equal to 3 raised to the power x, find the value of x. Now, in order to solve this question, um, the first thing we need to do here is represent our equation which says y raised to the power x is equal to 81. But note that it said y it's equal to what 3 raised to the power x so this is going to be wherever we see why we put them um, that's going to be 3 raised to the power x or raised to the power um this is going to be x which will be um equal to 81 so having written this like this this is going to be 3 raised to the power x times s is going to give us what x squared and now representing 81 in terms of the powers of 3 you know that um, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 times 3 will give us 27 and times 3 it's going to give us 81 so this is going to be 3 raised to power 4 one thing you need to understand about initial equation is where you have a raised to power m is equal to a raised to power n you can cancel out the base and take the indexes so from here we can get x squared is equal to 4 so therefore x is going to be the square root of 4 and that's going to give us what two so our final answer here it's going to be two so we will be selecting r d okay so the next question um we are going to be solving here it's um given that third root of um four root raised to the power two x is equal to 16 find the value of x so please if this is your first time of coming to this channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more updates from us Okay, so in order to solve this question, what we are going to do, okay, this is third root of 4 um, raised to the power 2x is equal to 16. So this is going to be, you know, whenever you have um, an indices, if you have um, m or root a or raised to the power n, this is the same thing as um, a n over m. So I'm going to represent this as 4. 2 raised to the power x over 3. This is 3. It's going to give us a... Now, you know your 16 is what? This is going to be 4 raised to the power 2. Now, we can see that our base are now equal. So, we can use our indexes. So, from here, 2x over 3 is going to give us 2. So, when I cross multiply, I have my 2x is equal to 2 times 3. Okay, so this my 2x is going to give me 6, therefore my x is going to be 6 divided by 2, and that will give me what? 3. Okay, so another way you can confirm your answer is to test, put your x as 3 and test it. You are going to get whatever the solution is. So our final answer here is going to be d, so I'll be marking my d. So the next question says, um, simplify this. So in order to simplify this, I'm going to put, um, this is going to be 3 raised to the power minus 5n all over 9 raised to the power 1 minus n times, this will be 27n plus 1. Now, in order to solve this question, it's going to be um, 3 raised to the power minus 5n all over. Now, instead of writing 9, I have 3 raised to the power, that would be 2 into what? 1 minus n times 27 is going to be 3 raised to the power 3 all into n plus 1. Okay, now we know this. The next thing we have to do is expand our bracket. So this is going to be 3 raised to the power minus 5 or raised to the power n all over. This is going to be 3. This is going to be 2 times 1 is going to give us 2 minus 2 times n is going to give us minus 2n. Here it's going to be times. This will be 3. 3 times n is going to give us 3n. And we have 3 times plus 1 is going to give us um, plus 3. Okay, so now we know that um, we cannot apply the rule of indices. Um, here, we're going to have 3 raised to the power minus 5n. Now, since there's a division here, it's going to be minus into 2 minus 2n. So, we now have times 3 raised to the power 3n plus 3. Okay, so um, in order to break this equation further, okay, in order to break this equation further, we're going to say um, this will be 3 minus 5n, so minus times 
2 is going to give us minus 2 and minus times minus 2n is going to give us plus 2n so we now have times 3 raised to power this is going to be 3n plus 3 so simplifying this is going to give us 3 raised to power minus 5n plus 2n is going to give us um, minus 3n minus 2 that times 3 raised to the power 3n plus 3. Now we're going to apply the multiplication rule for the in, in, uh, indices. This is now going to be 3 raised to the power minus 3n minus 2 plus 3n plus 3. So this is going to give me um, 3 into I have minus 3n plus 3n and that's 0 and I have minus 2 plus 3 and that's going to give me 1. So this is 3 raised to the power 1 which will now give me my final answer as 3. So let's look at the options. So we have um, B as a correct answer. So our B, it's our correct answer. Okay, so to so the second to the last question. Now this question says solve for x in 4 bracket 5x minus 3 equal to 500. Now in order to solve this, Okay, so um, we'll have um, 4 into 5 raised to the power x minus 3 is equal to 500. Now, from here, I can say divide both sides by 4. So we are going to have um, 5x minus 3. Okay, let's put this into 4 or divided by 4. It's equal to 500 into 4. So now this is going to give me 5 raised to the power x minus 3. It's equal to 500 divided by 4 is going to give me 125. Now, if you look at this, you can raise 125 into the powers of what? 5. So that will make it easy for you to solve. So this is going to be 5 raised to the power x minus 3. It's equal to 5 raised to the power that's 3 because 5 times 5 is going to give us 25 multiply by 5 again it's going to give us 125 now the um, base are equal we cannot take the index so x minus 3 is equal to 3 and collecting like that we have x is equal to 3 plus 3 and our final answer is going to be 6 so our correct answer is going to be b okay so for the last in the shell question we have here it says i mean 27 x raised to power x plus 2 divided by 9 raised to the power x plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the power 2x, find x. Now, in order to solve this, write 27, that's x plus 2 divided by 9, is the power x plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to the power 2x. Now, the first thing you need to do here is um, get everything in the powers of 3, because if you check 27, 9, and 3, the common factor there is 3. So, 27 is going to be 3 raised to the power 3 all into x plus 2 divided by 9 is 3 raised to the power 2 all into x plus 1. It's equal to 3 raised to the power 2x. So this is going to be 3 raised to the power 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 divided by. This will be 3 times 2x is going to give us 2x plus 2 times 1 will be 2 which is equal to 3 raised to the power 2x. Now, since there is division here, we are going to be performing the um, initial law, which says 3, this will now be 3x plus 6 minus 2x plus 2, which will give us 3 raised to the power 2x. So here, since the bases are um, equal, we can take the indexes, which is 3x plus 6 minus 2x plus 2, it's equal to 2x. Okay, so from here, we can... Um, perform this equation which is going to give us 3x plus 6 now minus 2x opening the bracket this is going to give us minus 2 is equal to 2x okay so 3x minus 2x is going to give us x and we have 6 minus 2 is going to give us plus 4 which, is, which will give us 2x now collecting like terms we have 4 is equal to 2x minus x so from here we have um we're going to have um 4 is equal to 2x minus x is what? x. So x is therefore equal to 4. And our final answer here is um, c. So I'm going to set cool my c. So thank you for staying tuned with us for this initial equation. We are going to be solving several questions. So do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell because we are going to be releasing several sets of videos and we want you to stay tuned as we help you break down these questions.